right, good afternoon, people, world, whoever, wherever, whatever. Anyway, I've already shot this whole video once and uh, said the memory card didn't process it. I'm going to start over. All right, guys, uh, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Anyway, I got called into work last night around 10, and uh, today's Monday. So I took uh, 10 hours of rest for a DOT driver, 10 hours, you get 10 hours of rest after work. Um, so yeah, we took 10 hours of rest. Uh, me and the guy who bought my 2012, we got called in, we worked, <clears throat> and uh, got to sleep in until about 10 o'clock this morning, because we didn't get home till about 3.45, 4 o'clock. Um, anyway... Uh, so, the kid and me were out here tinkering with his bike. Um, as you can see, I put new levers. I put new, the gold bars on my bike, the risers, the Tusk risers. Um, gold bars and the $18 fold away, folding, breakable, whatever, uh, levers. So these were 18 or 19 bucks shipped. Um, feel fine. Put them in. Had to adjust them all. And, uh, yeah, no biggie. It was, uh, pretty easy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, Saturday, the guy who bought my 2012, he went to his local bike shop, because our local bike shop is a bunch of morons. And, uh, yeah, I called him. I think I've explained it on the other video, but I called him and asked him if they have clutch springs, and the guy said, no, we don't carry those. I'm like, well, can you go check? He goes, no, I know we don't carry those. I'm like, I'm like, okay, can you order them? And he goes, yeah, I can order them. I said, okay, can you check how much they are? And he goes, he goes, yeah, you can come in and we'll do whatever. Anyway, I said, I said, can you just go check or, or put somebody else on the phone that's willing to do their job? And he goes, yeah, hold on. And I just hung up, basically. Anyway, so he ended up buying me some at his local bike shop, five bucks a piece. Um, so six six clutch springs. So now I got three extra sets of clutch springs. So there's three sets of clutch springs in there, from stiff to short to who knows. So we got stock clutch springs in here now. The kid and me were out here tinkering with it a little earlier. Uh, we could not, I couldn't figure out what's wrong with it to save my life. Um, I had no clue. We, uh, so, backstory, we did clutch basket, new clutches, fibers and steels, new pressure plate, um, new, where did that piece go? New, uh... Uh, clutch lift lever, I guess is that's what this is called. Um, goes right here. We did a new, so this is OEM Honda. The clutches are Wiseco, the clutch fr frictions and the steels. And the clutch basket is Wiseco. And the springs were Wiseco. So now it's got, um, factory Honda clutch springs. Uh, Honda little lever, lift lever. The rod is factory stock because I can't find any um, that are brand new. Everybody's back ordered, um, and I can't find any new ones. So, but it doesn't look damaged. So, we changed the springs about four times this morning or today, and did not make a difference at all. We changed it back to the stock to the old lift lever didn't make a difference. We took this apart, put a different bolt in it with a full shank instead of a, a full threaded shank on the bolt. Figured that was causing binding. I adjusted this. I played with it forever. Um, I even put a longer bolt in here to try to rotate it, the geometry. Um, I lubed the heck out of it. Um, they sell a uh, cable adapter that you can lube basically your cable goes into this little adapter the hose goes in 
into this top or bottom hole right here and you spray it and it builds pressure basically collapse around it um had that thing for i don't know, I don't know 20 years um anyway we did all that did everything and still i just told my kid he's just gonna have to deal with it so uh I was tinkering with it, so I took it all apart again, the, the cable, I took the cable out and was playing with it and it was making a noise right, right down in this area. You see these are all factory bins and, the, and keep in mind this is a Motion Pro uh, clutch cable. There's no kinks in it, there's one little kink right there, but shouldn't affect anything. So I said, you know what, let me just stick the stock one back in, and look what we got. Oh, two finger, two finger clutch action. Burp, 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 burp. One finger a little stiff, but definitely two finger. So, this is why we have Motion Pro sticker upside down on the stand, because that's been fighting me. I've spent, I don't even know, 40 bucks, 60 bucks, 80 bucks, basically 80 bucks on parts trying to figure this out. And I guarantee you the whole time it was just a stupid, this Motion Pro clutch cable. Um, but it, feel, it feels fine. Like it goes in and out just fine. But. Somewhere, somewhere in here, it's... If you can hear that, it's, a... it's like this cable is metal on metal somewhere. So, since it's, it's probably right in here, because when I feel it, I can feel the vibration right in this area. So, like, maybe this doesn't have nylon in it, but the rest of the cable does. Or, you know, I could see nylon in the end of the tube. Um, but yeah, I see nylon, but somewhere, somehow, and there's no kinks in this cable. Nothing to that sort. Everything looks good with this cable. Um, just has to be somewhere inside here. And uh, yeah, everything's great now. So, kid's happy, I'm happy, the kid was out here tinkering with it with me, helping me out, working on it. So I got everything tight now. Oh, I forgot to put this hose on. So, um, but yeah, everything I think will be awesome. Everything is awesome when you're running Honda. So, okay, now everything's good. So, the only thing I didn't do is a seal in here, but it doesn't seem to be leaking other than when we had the bike on the side. So, anyway, I'm just waiting on the pads. Once I get the pads for his bike, for my bike, we'll be done. And then uh, I got a three-day weekend. Maybe we'll go ride on Saturday, do some video footage. Um... And yeah, I think we're good. Can't wait. Now I get to clean my garage. Because I got junk everywhere because I've been going through box of parts, parts, tools, keep tearing it apart. Um, yeah, we're good. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, tell me what you guys think. If you guys ever ran into one of these stupid little issues, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, that's all I got. See you guys on the next video. Later.